There is an important ongoing lawsuit and investigation that is being conducted by the attorney generals of both Missouri and Louisiana. The uh, Missouri attorney general, by the way, is Eric Schmidt, who has been on this podcast. The Louisiana attorney general is Jeff Landry. The two of them have come together in a very important enterprise. And what's the enterprise? It is to fully expose the unconstitutional collusion between figures in the Biden administration uh, strewn through many uh, different uh, departments and agencies, including the White House, and a trifecta of social media companies. We're speaking here specifically about Twitter, about Google slash YouTube, and about Facebook slash Meta. Now, really, ever since Biden took office, the Biden administration has been pressuring, cajoling, um, conspiring with uh, social media companies to uh, ban people, to ban what they call disinformation or misinformation, but it's merely information they don't agree with. Misinformation here has the sort of, has a kind of ideological definition. It is what our side says goes, what your side says is automatically classified as out of bounds. So this is a naked exercise of political power. I mean, think of it, it's not only a violation of free speech. It's a violation of democracy itself, which relies upon a multi-party system, a diversity of ideas, people having forums in which they can put their ideas forward. Now, for some time, groups like Facebook and YouTube would say, we're private organizations, we can have our own guidelines, we can have our own rules. You don't like it, you form your own platform. First of all, when, when uh, Parler was formed as an independent platform, they all came together, including Amazon and Apple, to take it down. Uh, but um, it's a whole different matter when the government is working hand in hand with these um, so-called private companies in order to suppress speech. And this is really what Eric Schmidt and Jeff Landry are exposing. Now, they have gotten a whole bunch of discovery, and this discovery extremely eye-opening. They have all kinds of communications from people in different agencies, um, emails, directives, apparently teleconferences back and forth, in which these agencies are working with these social media companies about banning people, deplatforming, restricting them, so, in a sense, they're, they're well on their way to proving their case. But alarmed by, the, by what they're finding out, the Biden administration has been suppressing the communications of people higher up. So, for example, people like uh, high up at the White House, or people high up at the various agencies, or even Dr. Fauci, uh, or, uh, for example, the White House press secretary, Corinne Jean-Pierre. Um, these are people who have also been active with these social media companies, and yet the Biden administration is saying is we, we can't reveal these communications. These, are, these reflect the internal workings of the White House. And uh, so they have been blocking the release of these documents. So Eric Schmidt and Jeff Landry went to a judge in Louisiana who just issued a ruling, very good ruling, where he basically says, and he's referring specifically to Fauci and specifically to Corinne Jean-Pierre, the, um, the, um, the press secretary, and he says, look, you got it. any communications that you have with social media companies are part of a legitimate lawsuit and a legitimate discovery process, turn them over. Uh, he uh, uh, expresses appropriate derision and contempt for the position that, no, these are internal documents. He goes, no, I'm not talking about documents that are, that are internal to the White House or documents that are internal to the uh, NIH or uh, to the CDC. I'm talking about external communications between the Biden administration on the one hand and these external social media companies. That is the information being sought. That is the information that needs to be turned over. Now, in his own press release, the um, uh, sh um, uh, Eric Schmidt, uh, whom I should get back on the podcast to talk about this. This is such an important story. He says that we've gotten information from Meta, from Facebook, saying that at least 32 federal officials are constantly involved with us, telling us who to censor and what to do. Moreover, YouTube disclosed that 11 federal officials are in regular communication with YouTube about who and what to ban. Uh, and so Schmidt says that this is a, he calls it a censorship enterprise, which I think is a good way to put it because he's talking about not one agency, 
they're not just censoring COVID. They're censoring a whole bunch of stuff. And according to Schmidt, these are some of the agencies involved. The White House, HHS, which is Health and Human Services, DHS, Department of Homeland Security, CISA, the Cybersecurity Infrastructure Agency, the CDC, the Office of the Surgeon General, the Census Bureau, the FB, the FDA, uh, the, the Food and Drug Administration, the FBI, the State Department, the Treasury Department. So all of them, or most of them, they're all in on it. And so this, it seems to me, is something that really desperately needs to go up to the Supreme Court because if the First Amendment means anything, it means that the agencies of the government cannot fascist style direct private organizations to censor people. In other words, they cannot do through private instruments, through this trifecta of social media companies, what it would be unconstitutional for them to do if they were to do it themselves.